Hey guys, welcome back to another Slime Fun Field episode with your host Boomer and again today because we just left you a little while ago. We're going to do another quick little one before we get going because at some point we needed to get back to the end and my thought was I don't want to have to turn keep inventory on every time we go out there. Uh, I didn't think that was the right thing to do. So we are going to talk about teleportation. Yeah. We're going to go long distances in a short period of time. So you may or may not be aware, for those of you who are, this might look familiar. We've set up the teleportation device. So let's go into our slime fund guide real quick. And let's head over to GPS. We have a uh, teleporter pylon, the matrix, and the activation device. Whether anyone can use it or this is your own personal activation device. And you also need the marker tool. So how this works is you create a three by three with a hole in the center of the uh, pylons. And this is really simple, it's zinc, glass, and a heating coil. You make one of these up, you get eight glass. So you need at least 16 plus four for the uh, activation device because you've got to teleport somewhere, right? So you got to duplicate everything you make at a bare minimum. So you place down the glass in a three by three. Again, the center is left open and that's what gets a teleporter matrix. This is what actually helps you track what's called a waypoint. In other words, it's, it's a GPS marker that you're going to teleport to. All right. And then you have your actual marker tool, which lets you create a spot to teleport to. So for example, if I go here and I click on that spot, I can type it and call it home base. Uh, we'll call it number two or three. Okay. So if I want to stand on this waypoint, every spot that I've set now appears, including the one I just set. And it tells you the coordinates and approximately how long it will take to get there. So there is a formula that I'm going to share with you that helps with teleportation. So when you are in the same world, okay, It's generally about a half a second teleportation as long as your network, and, and, and you're going to have to forgive me on this one, in the same world, yeah, in the same world, I believe that the transport time is a half a second. Now, there is a formula that they've got that I know works when you're going from different worlds. And the formula is really simple. You take a half a second and then it adds in a fractional formula. It's take the distance that you are from point A to point B, square that, and then double it. So let's say you're going to teleport a thousand blocks. One thousand times one thousand is a million. Double it is two million. You take two million divided by the complexity of your network squared plus 50,000. So if your complexity, let's say, is at 4,000, you're going to square that. It gives you 1.6 million plus 50,000. So you have 1.6 million, 50,000. In the previous, if you're transporting 1,000 blocks away, it's 2 million divided by 1 million, 650,000. So roughly another 1.24 seconds plus that half. So it would be a 1.74 second teleportation cycle, if that makes any sense. All right, so you can see here in the overworld to go from my home base or to the other home base. And to, to do that, you simply click on, uh, stand on it. Oops, I got to get off of it completely first. Stand on it, click on it. Half a second teleportation. If I would have said go to my other home base one. I'm over here. I actually sent two in here. So if I want to get rid of one, oh, my GPS is over here. Come over to your control panel. Now this is where you can manage your waypoints. If I click on this one, that spot's no longer there. I can no longer teleport to it. So you can have, and I don't know, I've never tried to set more than 21 spots. I would assume you can set at least 21, possibly more. So if I want to go to my end portal room, you can see that this thing is probably about 2,000 blocks away. 
but because it's in the same world, it's a half a second teleportation cycle. There's my transporter. From here, if I want to go to the end, now it uses that long formula. So if I want to go to where the Ender Dragon area is, which is where I've set this to, this is going to be about a 12 minute cycle. If I want to speed this up, I have to increase the complexity of my GPS network. Here we go. Now we teleported up here. My room is actually down here. And there's my pylon. So again, if I want to teleport back home, I simply would click on the home. So I can get out here and now I can return home without having to go into keep inventory mode. I simply say home base. If I want to speed this up again, I need to increase my network complexity level. So about 12 seconds later, I'm going to find myself in my home base and voila, we are here. If I want to go to the end portal room again, it's a half a second. End dragon area is about a 12 second trans, uh, you know, teleportation time. Keep thinking of Star Trek and beaming me up, Scotty. And now we've got our own transporter. So anytime we want to go out, if we find a desert, because we, although we don't need sand, because we've got the ability to produce it, but we could set it to a desert. We could find an ice spikes biome. We could find a gold mine out in the mesas. We can set these to go anywhere in the world we want once we've been there. All we got to do is bring us a waypoint marker, a marker tool, an activation plate, the matrix, and eight pylons, and we can set these anywhere. And like we know for sure, we can do at least 21, possibly more if more pages are allowed. But that is the teleportation in a nutshell, guys. There's really not much more to it than that. Um, the best thing I can tell you is if you want to teleport fast, energized transmitters are the way to go and get that really high Y level. The higher that level is, the faster your transports are going to be. So again, I want to thank you for watching, taking the time to be with us. When you play Minecraft, you've got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.